Anyone who has tried to compare one piece of kit, ships, aircraft, weaponry of various types to another will testify to how hard this chore is. Ranking aircraft carriers is no exception. Consulting the pages of Jane's fighting ships or combat fleets of the world sheds some light on the problem. For instance, a flat top whose innards house a nuclear propulsion plant boasts virtually unlimited cruising range, whereas a carrier powered by fossil fuels is tethered to its source. As Alfred Thayer Mahan puts it, a conventional warship bereft of bases or a coterie of logistic ships is a landbird unable to fly far from home. A fighting ship isn't just a hunk of steel, but a symbiosis of crewmen and material. The finest aircraft carrier is one that's both well-suited to its missions and handled with skill and daring do when and where it matters most. Those three indices, brute material, capability, fitness for assigned missions, a zealous crew, are the indices for this utterly objective, completely indisputable list of the top five aircraft carriers of all time. Number 1. Nimitz Class, USA One of the most recognizable American Navy names of World War II became the name of one of the most identifiable aircraft carriers in the Cold War, the USS Nimitz. Named after U.S. Navy Pacific Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, was the first vessel in her Nimitz class when launched in the early 1970s, and she has developed a storied career through her decades of service. Initially designated as C-Van 68, but redesignated in 1975 to C-VN 68, the USS Nimitz still remains one of the largest ocean-going warships ever constructed and represents one of the most powerful offensive weapons in the world. Being a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the Nimitz is powered by two Westinghouse brand AW4 reactors, which, in turn, power quadruple steam turbines and four shafts at 260,000 shaft horsepower. The vessel can achieve top speeds of over 30 knots, and due to the nature of the nuclear reactors, has essentially unlimited range. Her complement consists of 3,200 sailors and up to 2,480 members of the air group. Number 2. Gerald R. Ford Class, U.S. The carrier will be capable of carrying up to 90 aircraft, including the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, F-A-18E, F Super Hornet, E-2D Advanced Hawkeye, EA-18G Growler Electronic Attack Aircraft, MH-60R, S Helicopters, as well as unmanned air and combat vehicles. The requirement for a higher sortie rate at 160 sorties a day, with surges to a maximum of 220 sorties a day in times of crisis and intense air warfare activity, led to design changes in the flight deck. The flight deck has a relocated smaller island, where there are three rather than four deck edge elevators. Deck extensions also increase the aircraft parking areas. Aircraft service stations are located near the 18 refueling and remaining stops. Number 3. Queen Elizabeth Class, UK The Queen Elizabeth Class aircraft carriers will be the largest surface warships ever constructed for the Royal Navy and will represent a significant increase in capability. The vessels will be utilized by all three branches of the UK Armed Forces and will provide eight acres of sovereign territory. Both ships will be versatile enough to be used for operations ranging from high-intensity conflict to providing humanitarian aid and disaster relief. The class will have increased survivability as a result of the separation and distribution of power generation machinery throughout each ship. The class has even been designed with twin islands, which separate the running of the ship from the flying operations, resulting in greater visibility of the latter. As for propulsion and somewhat understandable given the overwhelming public and news media reaction to the slice to cost increases, the MOD has decided not to use nuclear propulsion because of its high cost and has chosen a system based on Rolls-Royce's integrated electric propulsion system. It will consist of two Rolls-Royce Marine 36MW MT30 gas turbine alternators providing over 70 megawatts and four diesel engines, approximately 40 megawatts with the total in installed power approaching 110 megawatts. Number 4. Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia Admiral Flota Sovetskogo Soyuza Kuznetsov, or Admiral Kuznetsov for short, is approximately 1,000 feet long and displaces up to 58,000 tons fully loaded. The ship is built to accommodate an air wing of up to 24 fighters, including Su-33 Flanker D and MiG-29K fighter jets, plus an additional six helicopters. 
On the 30th of October 2018, Admiral Kuznetsov was damaged when Russia's biggest floating dry dock, PD-50, sank and one of the dock's 70-ton cranes crashed onto the ship's flight deck, leaving behind a 200-square-foot, 19-meter-squared hole in the flight deck. One person was reported missing and four injured as the dry dock sank in Koala Bay. Admiral Kuznetsov was in the process of being removed from the dock when the incident happened and was towed to a nearby yard after. Number 5. Liaoning, China The commissioning of the 315-meter-long vessel four years after she was laid down in Liaoning Province, March 2015, by Dalian Shipbuilding is another milestone achievement for the PLA Navy that must be gauged in context. The Chinese carrier remains much less capable than its U.S. Navy counterparts, but serves as a stepping stone to a more powerful force, point of national prestige, and potentially a platform for expeditionary missions abroad. The Liaoning can carry a total of 36 aircraft, including 24 jet fighters. For the Shandong, Chinese naval architect made the island the built-up superstructure on a carrier deck, taller but occupying smaller in surface area. That affords the Shandong deck space for 44 aircraft in total, including up to 32 fighter jets. Some sources claim a maximum of 36 jets, but it's possible this figure may be only theoretically attainable where no helicopters to be carried, which is not going to happen for reasons explained below. Number 6. INS Vikramaditya, India the refurbished aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya is equipped with 234 new hull sections, constructed using 2,500 tons of steel. It has an overall length of 284 meters, a maximum beam of 60 meters, height of about 60 meters, and a displacement of 44,500 tons. The warship features 22 decks and 2,500 compartments, of which 1,750 were completely rebuilt. It can carry more than 1,600 personnel, including crew. Sponsons are installed to increase the breadth of the flight deck. The modernized ship is also equipped with flight deck lighting systems, new AC plants, refrigeration plants, 14-degree sky jump, 30-meter wide arrestor gears, three restraining gears, and two reverse osmosis plants for producing 400 tons of fresh water per day. The INS Vikramaditya is powered by eight new generation boilers, which produce a total of 180,000 shp, driving four huge propellers. Each boiler generates 100 tph of steam at a very high pressure of 64 bar. The ship also employs six turbo alternators and six diesel alternators, which produce a total power of 18 megawatts. Number 7. Charles de Gaulle, France the carrier air wing of Charles de Gaulle includes more than 30 Dassault Rafale MF-3 fighter aircraft, two E-2C Hawkeye tactical airborne early warning and control aircraft, one NH Industries NH-90 Cayman NATO frigate helicopter NFH, and two AS-365 Dauphin helicopters. Charles de Gaulle, the flagship of the French Navy, Marine Nationale, is the only nuclear-powered carrier completed outside of the U.S. Navy service. She is named after French statesman and general Charles de Gaulle. The vessel has a length of 262 meters and a displacement of 42,000 metric tons. She is manned by about 1,900 150 sailors. 8. Cavour, Italy. The ship has a standard displacement at full load of 27,100 tons, an overall length of 244 meters, and a sustained speed of 27 kt. The carrier's runway is 180 meters by 14 meters, with a 12 degree ski jump. She can accommodate up to 1,292 people on board, including five flag officers and VIPs, 486 ship's crew, 211 air crew, an amphibious command force of 140, San Marco Battalion of 360 and an additional 90 troops. A strong feature of the ship is her high flexibility in operational terms. She is able to carry out the functions of an aircraft carrier as well as the transport of wheeled and tracked vehicles for both military and civil missions. The aircraft hangar can accommodate 100 light vehicles or 24 main battle tanks for amphibious missions. The ship can also support four LCVP landing craft. There are two 30-ton elevators for aircraft and two 15-ton elevators for armaments. Number 9. Juan Carlos I, Spain The Spanish Navy's multi-purpose amphibious assault ship aircraft carrier Juan Carlos I was the first vessel with the Navy to use diesel-electric propulsion. Commissioned on the 30th of September 2010, Juan Carlos I has a displacement of 26,000 metric tons and a flight deck of 202 meters, featuring a ski jump ramp. 
This makes this particular aircraft carrier highly versatile and a valuable asset for the Spanish Army. Juan Carlos I has the capability to house 980 personnel, along with equipment and support elements for 1,200 soldiers. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell down below if you want to make sure you never miss out on important new information like this.